So hi everyone, I'm, and today I'm going to present uh, a basics of BLAST, a basic lo local alignment search tool. I will discuss the basis, basics of BLAST methods, and then I will move towards the basic terminology used in BLAST that it will help you to understand the BLAST better. And the last session will be of this session will be a small uh, screenshot demo of BLAST. So what is BLAST? Uh, in fact, BLAST is a basic local alignment search tool. It is actually a computational method developed by Stephen back in 1990, where they developed to compare the fundamental biological sequences, for example, amino acid sequences or nucleotide sequences. So any, any sequences you can cross compare with BLAST tool. So uh, what is actually BLAST doing? So most of the people, scientists, or even the user or biologist, cross compare the specific sequences uh, with a library of data that they have or a database of uh, database of sequences, for example, NCBI database. They cross compare the data using BLAST search method. Uh, this process allows the identification of a specific sequence that be a resemblance to the query sequences or surpass or determine uh, similarity thresholds. So these BLAST tools are actually a user search tool that uh, we also do the same similar kind of things in in Google search as well. So, but this is specially designed to cross compare the sequences. There are many BLAST methods available, and uh, we'll discuss few of them today to uh, to cross compare the genome. So, whenever we receive any new genes or new sequences, we first things do is to cross compare against the databases. We try to understand: do we have any similarities to any of the sequences in the database? For that one, we use BLAST. I'll move to the next is actually the type of BLAST algorithm that we have now. So BLAST N is the one that we use most of the time is BLAST N is a nucleotide BLAST where we cross compare the nucleotide sequences against the nucleotide databases. So DNA against DNA search. search. Whereas in protein BLAST, we have BLAST P is actually search against input sequences, protein sequences, and the database is protein as well. So it's protein, uh, protein versus protein search. Then we come to the min, uh, mixed BLAST search where we have BLAST X, where we have the input sequences is DNA, but we are searching for the similarities in protein data and databases. And for that one, we use BLAST X. Once we have protein sequences, but you want to search in nucleotide databases, we use tblast And the last one that we have is tblast where we have DNA sequences. We cross compare with DNA sequences. And this is actually mostly used for the gene identification methods, where we have six term translation. We compare all six sequences against the DNA translated sequences. So we have 36 combinations over here. So all these five basics. Uh, programs that we use most of the time uh, in BLAST. Mm -hmm. So what is BLAST used for? Uh, most of the time, once you have a new isolated genome, uh, proteins, protein or DNA sequences, we try to understand what is their function? What does they do? What is their name? So first of all, we are interested into finding what is the name of this uh, sequence? or is, <clears throat> Where does it belongs in the phylogenetic tree of life? So for that one, we do the BLAST, we try to find out the closest similar sequences <coughs> in the database and try to uh, annotate or predict the possible hypothetical function of this uh, sequence. For that one, use BLAST as well. So we actually search for the homology between the sequences or known sequences that we have in the database. This, then we also use this uh, tool as a designing PCI primer as well. So we uh, use this tool. Um, we have a specific uh, tool that's called primary, primer blast that we use for primer, uh, designing primer, uh, PCI primers. And checking your uh, PCI primer for specificity for that one as well, we use blast most of the time. And performing pairwise alignment is the one that we all, all the time do with blast, uh, using blast algorithm where we search the match and mismatches in the sequences. We'll discuss a bit about this in, in the next slide. So how does BLAST actually work? So uh, 
in this is the one uh, schema that I try to explain all the method, uh, how does BLAST works. So once we have a query sequence, is actually the input sequence. So we split the input sequences into tiny, uh, tiny fragments, and then we search. We sit into the database and try to search the similar matching sequences in the databases. So the first step that we do is the local al <coughs> local alignment. A Smith Waterman algorithm methods, we use that one to show the local aligned sequences. If there is no hit at all, then we excluded this uh, seed uh, uh, fragments completely. If we have any hit, yes, then we go for the local alignment scoring methods and try to extend them in both sides. And once we start extending it, we will have the better sequence match. Uh, and once it passes the threshold, and then we keep it. And if it is, uh, then we start calling them the high HSP, high scoring pair. If it is not passing the threshold, we discard them. So this is all a uh, systematic pro uh, progress of the blast search that we do uh, most of the time. So uh, here is one uh, detail uh, information where we have the setting of the database first step where we search for the database in with one with only with words. Then we do the local alignment, find the good alignment first. So we call it hit and then extend in both direction. If we if we find any hit, then we extend it and then find total scoring match. If match is passing the threshold, we just keep them and then passing the threshold, we call, started calling them HSPs, high scoring pair, and we we list all the pairs with E values. I will discuss E values in the next session. Next slide. So seeding and speeding. So once we have a query sequence, uh, for example, here is a one protein sequence. So we split the entire query sequence into small, tiny tuples or words. So is actually nowadays the, the people most of the time use KMERS. So they, at that time they use K tuples. So K tuples, uh, we form a small tiny words uh, and search in the database. So if K is equal to three, so splitting the entire set into three layers, overlapping uh, layers. For example, here, uh, if we have the sequences, we have tuple one, tuple one is MAP. So it's starting from three later from the st start from the beginning and then second tuple is the AAP so AAP the second tuple is actually overlapping with MAP as well so when we created all the tuples and then we search in the database so so here example uh, you see if you have a small tiny match here CDD if you have this matches sequence A B and C matches. So, but high scoring pair is this one that cross all the threshold score score that we set, and we keep that this one and list the blast list in their database uh, in the result. So, some important notes: any local alignment that passes the threshold is called high high scoring pair (HSP). Uh, decreasing the world size k table to a low value, allowing the identification of sequences that matches less well, thus allowing the identification of similar genes when the sequence of the query sequence is showing weak similarity to the hit results. So what is expected value? So what is E value that I, I discussed in previous slide? So this is, a, and this setting specify the statistical significance threshold for reporting matches against the databases. So it is the number of hits one can expect to see by chance when searching a database of particular size. For example, if we have E value of one, uh, means we can see one matches by chance. The lower the E value, the closer to zero, the more significant the match is. So if you're finding any results that is closer to zero is more significant. So the E value uh, lower than 10 to power, uh, 10 to 10 to power minus four indicates possible homology, just this say homology. If it is more than that one, we call a good hit. So if this one E value is one is a bad, this 10 to power minus three is borderline E values, 10 to power four is a good E value. And if it is more than that one, if more than minus 10, then it's very good hit that we can consider for further analysis. So in conclusion, uh, the, the significance 
the quality of the alignment is given by the score. So if you want to look, if you're looking for the scores only, so alignment quality, so you should look in the scores. The significant of the alignment is given by E-value. So how significant is the hit? And then you can use this E-value. Smaller the E-value, better this, better the result. This is all the conclusion of, um, of these. So once you have the results, you should focus on the score and the E-value more. Okay, now I will move towards the uh, screenshot demo of the BLAST, how to do this one and how to further uh, analyze it. Okay, so simply uh, you need to go to the uh, NCBI and uh, you need to go to the Google and search BLAST. You know, more likely you'll find the first hit and BLAST local alignment search tool. So open that link and you will find this uh, web page mm -hmm. where we'll have a BLAST a nucleotide blast, blast X, T plus 10, and protein blast uh, information. So you need to click on the specifically nucleotide blast uh, a link. And once you click on that one, it will open a web page uh, where you, you can submit your sequences. So uh, the first one in here, if you look at the top, top bar of this, uh, this screenshot is blast N, blast B, blast X, T plus 10 and T plus X. All tabs is available. You can opt uh, any, any one you like. So I will display, I will explain today with the Blast N. So in Blast N, the first box here is a query box where you can paste your sequences or you can paste your question number as well. So if you have your question number, you can paste your success number or you can paste your sequence over here. So our, the other option that you can do is you can upload your sequences uh, if it is too big, uh, you can upload your sequences by clicking on this button uh, given below. Now, <clears throat> sometimes you don't don't like to compare the sequences against the databases. You sometimes compare need to compare two sequences. For that one, you have an option here align two or more sequences. So you can click on this one if you have if you want to align one or two sequences and try to see the homology between them. Then you need to click over here. Then I'm moving to the second section is the choose search set. So in this one, you have need to do some customization. If you are uh, actually uh, new, you can run with the default one, but you should know what does that does they mean? Does it mean uh, default non redundant sequences is already given over here. You can opt for any database sources that you want to blast your sequence with. And then there is the next trait is organism. So you can opt to blast your sequences against the human genome or against the mouse genome. You can opt or enter the specific name or ID over here to search against it. If you want to exclude a specific databases, for example, you are cross comparing our bacterial genome sequences, you want to exclude a specific bacteria, you can uh, specify the name of the bacteria and exclude it. If you want to search your sequences against the database and want to exclude a specific organism, you can do this by clicking on the exclude uh, uh, checkbox over here. Then uh, moving to the program selection, where we have, if you are looking for the highly similar sequences, you can try the Mega Blast option. Uh, whereas there are many other options that you can opt if you are into specific uh, optimization. And click on Blast to submit. This is a default setting. If you are familiar with the parameter, uh, algorithmic parameter, uh, you can click on the plus icon given at the bottom at the, at the bottom of the page and it will open a new uh, page for you not new page only the same page with new uh, algorithm parameters so here the max target sequences you can opt a specific maximum target sequences that can be displayed so up to 100 sequences it displayed and then you can also opt other other things so here I'm moving to the word size here so you can i mentioned the word double k tables you can specify the k table size over here so uh, you can opt for 128 k table size so only 128 k table is used for the search and then the, and further extension so mismatches and matches. So you can also reward or, penal or give the penalty for mismatching and matching criteria in this scoring parameter. And 
there is a gap cost, gap opening, and gap extension cost is can be provided in this section over here. So the linear cost, so by default, they will provide the linear linear one is only available to the mega blast. So if you want to change and play around with this, you can play uh, with your sequences. So the third section, the next is the uh, filter. So you can specify uh, and filter the specific or mask specific uh, genomes. So uh, if you have the repeat sequences databases, so you can mask specific sequences over here. So, and then you can simply search and click on the blast and it will return you the result. And the result piece looks like this. So here, so you have a tab, a description, graphical summary, alignment, and taxonomy. If you click on graphical summary, the blast, it looks like this. So here the alignment score. So uh, all the color codes that you need to follow. Uh, and uh, here is the result. So if it is red, it means more than 200. Uh, so you can follow this. You further need to click on the description. So if you click on the description, it will provide you the detailed description of all the blast hits that you that you found. And then uh, you can also download the sequences by clicking on download and the format that you like to download. So you can download the entire results in your local computer as well. So here in this uh, detailed description is given the scientific name. So it's provided the where uh, the first hit is rotus. Uh, uh, so, uh, so Rattus is the one, the first hit over here, the maximum score, total score, query coverage, and E values given 0, 0 0.0 and the percentage identity and the accession number. So all the information is given in detailed description tab. So you can follow and by clicking, you can go in, in detail by clicking the accession number and see the sequences in detail as well. Yeah. Uh, reading the results, so it's a maximum score. So maximum score is given uh, and the total score is also provided. I discussed earlier. So is in this the same tab that you can follow if you like. So max and total score HSP. So this is the single hit HSP. So we have only one HSP. So one max and total score identical. So one max score over here, multiple hit multiple HSP, so one HSP is over here, second here, third here, so three HSPs here. So the score is count based on this one. So how many how many HSPs we have based on that one. So the total high high scoring uh, segment pair HSP is the fundamental unit of blast algorithm output. The HSP consists of two sequences fragments of the average reward equal length, whose alignment is locally maximal and for which the alignment score meets or exceeded the threshold to the cutoff score. So if you look at that reading score, here the percentage of the coverage of the query to the result. So this is the percentage given over here. And here is the accession number that you can click to further explore the sequences. You can download the alignment as well. So uh, all the alignment, if you click on the alignment tab, you can download the details, uh, all the faster sequences or GenBank sequences or in the text format, the detailed uh, alignment uh, file as well. So this is the file that looks like or even you can download the xml file format and you can open uh, in actual as a read only file for further analysis or even there is other fault file formatted that that is useful uh, for further analysis you can follow that one as well so that's all the sequence this is one i explained in earlier as well that if you want to align two sequences you can click on this this one and then they will ask for the two sequences so the first sequence is provided uh, ask, uh, they will ask over here second is here and you can um, align by clicking on the blast one you'll see the similarities between the two sequences that's all thank you